mumbo number five. Hey guys, Robo here, back in my video, and um, this is going to be a very lengthy video because this has been requested for a very long time now, I might I add, by my good pal, Mr. Chris Vint. He wants me to do an entire in depth autograph collection video. Fuck you, dude. Seriously, I've been like prepping for this like. 40 minutes just trying to get things out and trying to find everything that I could and I don't even know if I'm going to get every autograph on here um not even got a clue I'm not even bother looking through my comic book boxes looking for authors and artists because no <laughs> I don't even know who half the people are that I've met um so yeah um I suppose we should just crack on with it shall we um one thing I might add is that you know, I have wrestling autographs, I have TV show autographs, I have, you know, other autographs. And I'm going to mix, mix them up. So you don't know what section to watch in case you just wait to watch one section. I might do a TV show autograph, then go to a wrestling one. And then I just might go back and forth, just to fuck you over, because you got to watch the entire thing then. Fuck you. Um, yeah, so let's crack on, shall we? We're going to start with title belts. As you know, I have replica WWE title belts, and let's just see what I have on these belts, shall we? First of all, we have the United States Championship, which is very dusty. Very dusty. <laughs> Quite dusty, in fact. Look at that. Ugh. We have the United States Championship. Um, I feel like I'm a referee. I'm Mike Kyoto. Yeah! And uh, on this belt, obviously, I'd only get people to sign the belt if they've actually held the belt. Um, and for a lengthy period of time as well. Um, so, on this belt, we have The Miz. MVP and Antonio Cesaro but who decided to write US champion because apparently it wasn't giving away and then on the back we have Dolph Ziggler Zack Ryder and Jack Swagger yep. I have nowhere to put this now Next, we have the new white Intercontinental Championship. There we go. And on here we have Big E, Wade Barrett. Wow, it's really reflective. Cody Rhodes, I brought it back. And on the back we have Ooh. Christian. So yeah, yeah. Next, we have the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, I know this is the WWE version, but I used this for WCW names. So there we go. Have a look at that. And on here we have just three names, and I don't want no one else on this belt but these three names. So. On here we have Hollywood Hulk Hogan, NWO for life. Uh, the Immortal Sting. And Ric Flair. Woo! Now, honestly, could you think of any big guys from WCW that have held this belt? Because I can't. Um, and I know people are going to say, oh, Goldberg. And yeah, but If you look at Goldberg's reign, he was barely champion. You know, These guys held it like, like the most. So, yeah, that's that. Next, we have the beautiful WWE Championship Spinner Edition. Yeah. And on this baby, we got John Cena. The champ is here. And we've got Randy Orton, the Viper. I've got no one else on, on this belt, um, purely because I don't think no one else should be on the belt. Well, there, there are two names that I'd like to have on this belt. 
Um, and that would be Edge and CM Punk are the only other two names that I think are rightly deserving of putting their names on this belt. Uh, a, because it was Edge's first belt, and he actually had his own incarnation of this belt. And CM Punk, because you know, he held it for such a long time, and he actually made the championship worthy. Um, yeah, so, boom. Those are the belts. Um, I suppose next we go on to posters. Because posters. Um, and I have a lot of them. Yeah. Bear with me. Okay, so, uh, like I said, posters now. So, here we have the Defenders poster. Now, before this con season started, we were scheduled to meet three of these guys. Uh, this guy, this guy, this guy. Not her. These two backed out. <laughs> so we only met Iron Fist. So here we have Finn Jones. Iron Fist. This is right there. Uh, the next one. Oh, it's upside down. Okay, so everyone knows I, I love Lucifer. And again, we were supposed to meet this one, this one, this one. Those two, those two pulled out and we met her, whose name I forget, uh, and there's her autograph. Oh, Trisha Helfer, that's right. Yep. Again, really sucks. Then we go on to like the big poster projects. Here we have Gotham. And uh, we've got uh, Butch here, uh, Drew Powell, uh, Aaron Richards who plays Barbara Kane. Robin Lord Taylor as Penguin, uh, Corey Smith as D uh, Riddler, then we have Sean Pertwee as Double O Alfred, uh, David Mazous as Bruce Wayne, and uh, Cameron B. Condova as uh, Selena Kyle. Obviously, I've still got a couple of names on here that I need to get, uh, but it's good, good work in progress so far. Here we have our Legends of Tomorrow poster. Uh, who have we got in here? We've got Brendan Roof. Uh, we've got Wentworth Miller. Franz Dramer. Uh, Sierra Renee. Renee, Renard, whatever. Uh, Falk Henshaw. And we have, where is it? Oh, there, there we go. Uh, we have Dominic Purcell. So all I need on there is uh, Rip and Katie and Victor and our full complete poster. Lovely stuff. Next here we have the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. poster. We obviously got uh, Grant Ward, uh, Lincoln, Fitz and Simmons. I, I can't remember the actors' names for Love, love and Money, I do apologise. Uh, Hunter. And Agent May, and up here we have the best autograph in the world, my ad. This is, this is Gabrielle Luna's, uh, who plays obviously uh, Ghost Rider. It's like Die and Ride, uh, Gabrielle Luna, Ghost Rider, G Drew a Flame and Skull, and then up here we got Yo Yo, and then we got August J. Richards up here who played Deathlock. Uh, you may you may know more no fair, 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 fair. commonly known him as Gun from Angel. Um, so yeah, this is a great post. I really love that autograph. Okay, here we have my Supergirl poster, and here we have a uh, Chyla Lee, uh, Britt Morgan, Helen Slater, uh, John Jones, uh, Dean Kane, uh, Jeremy Jordan, and uh, the guy that plays James, whose name escapes me. Make hard Brooks, that's right, yeah. Supergirl. Oh, you just go in there. Fine there, they just stay. Uh, here we have Agent Carter. Uh, we have Hayley Atwell's autograph. Uh, Enver Joker. And Bridget Regan, I believe that is. Uh, yeah. Quite a nice poster that. Uh, aha. Here 
here we have the flesh. Uh, yeah, and um, who we got here? We got Rick Cosnett, Eddie Fawn, uh, John Wesley Ship, uh, Free Flash, Daniel Panabaker, uh, Michelle Harrison, and uh, Carlos Valdez. And Tom Kavanagh, who's a dick that signs down the bottom. Yeah. Quite nice. And then we go on to Arrow, which is my most signed poster of all. Uh, we have Manu Bennett up here, Slade Wilson, uh, and then what we got? What we got going on? Uh, Katie Cassidy. Uh, we got Joe Dinicol, Emily Bett Rickards, uh, David Brad, Dave uh, Diggle, uh, Willa Holland. Uh, we have uh, Colton Haynes there, Stephen Amell. Uh, we got Matt Matt Ryan with his splat. Uh, John Barrowman, Katrina Law down here. Uh, we have Paul Blackthorn. Yeah, I think that's it for this one. But yeah, I've got like everyone on this poster has signed it plus more. So yay, quite a good poster that. All right. Now we move on to other posters. Yes, other posters. Right. What do we even have here? I don't even know, you know that. Right, uh, put you to one side, put you to one side. Here we have the Freddy vs. Jason poster. It's quite big. Uh, Robert England. Ken, Ken Kersinger. Yep. Quite like a poster. So we have a completed poster. Uh, here is my pride and joy of my autograph collection. It is the original 1995 Mighty Wolf Power Ranger movie poster. And uh, here we have uh, David Yost, Billy, uh, Steve Carjanas, uh, Rocky. Uh, we have uh, uh, Karen Ashley, who's Aisha. Uh, Paul Freeman, who played Ivan Ooze. Uh, Adam, uh, who played Adam. Uh, uh, John Young Bosch, who played Adam. Here we have Jason David Frank, who plays Tommy. And here we have uh, Paul Shire. Paul Shire. Paul Shire, who plays Bulk. And here we have Jason Narvi, who plays Skull. Now, I'm literally missing one autograph from this post to have it complete. One Amy Jo Johnson. You hearing me? One. 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 But of course, she's never going to do UK con. No. Silly bitch. Okay. So that's the one side. Here we have the J of the Doctor poster, uh, signed by uh, Jenna Louise Coleman and by the late great John Hurt. Wrote Gallifrey Stands, isn't that nice? And here we have the uh, Ring of Honor Final Battle, I think it was 2012 poster, signed by Kevin Steen and El Generico. Yeah, this was like the show that got me into Ring of Honor, and man, was it amazing. Right, that's it for posters, and that's it for belts. Bear with me. Right, all the posters are away now, so now we're going to go through this little stack of crap, uh, and then we're going to go on to a bigger stack of crap. <laughs> Right, so first off, we have this rendition of a Japanese magazine, a Weekly Pro Wrestling. Uh, and it is when Kenny Omega won the G1 2016. Uh, he said to Robbie, dreams do come true. Kenny Omega. 
one of my favorite magazines is. Well, not, not, not magazines, but one of my favorite items. Because can you make it mad me? Come on. The next one is another rendition of the Japanese magazine, Weekly Pro Wrestling. And this is signed by every member of Los Ingobernable de Japón. We have Sanada, Bushi, Ibu, Tatsu, Tatsuya Naito, and Hiromu Takahashi. All five, mate, on this magazine. Amazing. Mate, it cost me like £100 to get a sign. Next one is another rendition of the Japanese magazine, Weekly Pro Wrestling. And this is of when Will Ospreay, my boy, won the Best of Super Juniors in his debut year when he went to New Japan 2016. Uh, yeah. To Robbie, Will Ospreay. Amazing stuff, mate. Amazing stuff. Uh, next, it's just a bunch of wrestling stuff. Uh, we have a, a print by and signed by all three members of British Strong Style. And at the time, uh, Pete Dunne was the Progress Champion. Tyler Bate was the UK, WWE UK Champion. And Trent Seven was the ICW Champion. So that is a lovely print. Uh, obviously, all three members have lost these belts at this point. Um, except Pete John, who is actually the new UK champion. So, yeah, lovely print. Uh, now, these these prints are New Japan prints. And I got these when uh, these two guys were touring the UK with Rev Pro. Um, and it is Shinsuke Nakamura. And Tomohiro Ishii. Yeah. He's actually back over here next month. Ooh. Next, we have a bunch of Rev Pro 8x10s, which I'm not a massive fan of. Uh, so we've got Jushin Thunder Liger. Uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Kazuchika Okada. Oh, we've got Zack Sabre Jr.'s own 8x10 here. Zack Sabre Jr. And we got Mr. Shane Strickland. Sammy Callahan. Oh look, we got we got Hiromi Takahashi again, look at that. Lovely. Uh, the newly signed Leo Rush. <laughs> Leo Rush, let's be honest. We got Mick Mick Nick. And Matt Jackson, the Young Bucks. We got Hiroki Goto. We have Jay White. Josh Bowden. Man known as Angelico. Kushida Oh and uh, got a bigger than eight by ten from the uh, women's wrestler Chris Wolf who really likes lean. That's nice. Um okay. Oh what's in this pile? Uh we have something from Chris Vint. Uh he got this sign for me at LFCC this year. Um I don't know who this is signed by. Um, I think it's the artist. I'm not entirely sure of how, I'm sorry. Um, but it was in the pile, so I thought I'd show it off. Nice. And then we have, uh, also from LFCC this year, uh, Kevin Smith signed, uh, my, uh, comic book, uh, issue one of Spider-Man and the Black Cat, which was amazing. And we got Mark Haskins's little... Thing here, this is Mark Haskin, and then I have the WF magazine signed by Jeff and Matt Hardy, not Leah. Who oh, I need to get on there. Random little pile of stuff there. Um, next, we'll crack on with the 8x10, shall we? 
Yes, we shall. We have, at first, Jason David Frank. Yeah, it's a Robbie. All the best. JDF. And then, on the other side, we have Andrew Gray, who played Troy from Super Mega Force. Next, we have Cameron Jibo from Super Mega Force. And then we have Christina Masterson from Super Mega Force. Yeah. Next, we have John Loudermilk. And then we have Ciara Hanna. Yeah. Ciara Hanna. Yeah, lovely stuff. Uh, next, we have Alison Hannigan, followed by Nicholas Brendan. Huzzah! I say that. Then we have the lovely Charisma Carpenter. And then we have Tom Wilson. Butthead. Leia Thompson. <laughs> she called me a dream. <laughs> She's a fine lady this month. And then we have a Christopher Lloyd. Lovely scratch. With new personalizations. Quite good. Uh, next we have Conliff Hill, who plays uh, Faris from uh, uh, Game of Thrones. This is a lovely old graph. And then we have a... Uh, Hodor! Hodor, Hodor! Hodor, Hodor! Hodor! Lovely guy. Really lovely guy. Uh, next we have... Jack Gleason, I think his name was. <laughs> it's a lot of names to remember. Uh, Jack Gleason, who played Joffrey in Game of Thrones. And then we had Natalie Dormer. And then we have the lovely Lena Headey. And then we have Pilu Azbek. Or as I like to call him, Uncle Greyjoy. Nice scratch. Next we have the lovely Lana Parilla. Stay regal. Yeah. And on the other side we have Sean Maguire. Where he wrote All My Love, which is still weird to this day. And next we have one of my favourites. It is Mr. Austin St. John. Yeah. And on the back there we have uh, Haley Allo again. Where I had my name personalised on it. Mm-hmm. And then we have Nick Blood. Apparently he was here. Um... And then we have uh, Ian de Battenberg, who plays Fitz. Next we have... What's his name? I can't remember his name. Oh, the guy that played the governor, whose name I... David Morrissey. David Morrissey. He called me a liar. And then we have Stephen Yun. Lovely stuff. Uh, and then we have Emily Kinney after the third attempt. <laughs> got, <laughs> got hers. And then we have Chad Coleman. We played Tyrese. Then we have I can't remember her name. I can't remember her name for love and money, I'm sorry. Her. Laurie. No, it's not Laurie. We have now. Oh, bad names. Her. Her. And uh, then we got John Burnfall's autograph there. Because, you know, it was my first con. When I got met, met John Burnfall, and I thought, oh, I'll start a Walking Dead thing. How wrong I was. 
Next we have Rose MacGyver, who obviously plays the lead role uh, in Eyes on Me. And then we have Malcolm Goodwin. Malcolm Goodwin. And he said, thanks for watching the show. Yeah. I really love Eyes on Me. Then we have Mr. David Anders. And then we have... Whose name I can't remember because it's really Indian. <laughs> but he's like, is this a zombie thing? Yeah. So I'm literally missing Major. And I'll have the entire cast. So hopefully someone gets Mr. Buckley over here. Next we have Mads Mikkelsen. Uh, who obviously played Cassilius in Doctor Strange. And who's behind him? Of course it's Mr. Benedict Wong. Who played Wong in Doctor Strange. Doesn't he have a lovely autograph? Very nice man. Next up we have Miss Catherine Chache. Not of the Chache Museum. And then we have another Doctor Who companion. We have Mr. Arthur Darville. Who I need to now meet again. Next we have Gigi Edgley. Who played Chiana on Farscape. And this is one of my favourite 8x10s. Because you put so much effort into it. She's like, hey Robbie with the hearts. And then it's like, thanks for letting me play in your world. More hearts. And she signed it. And it's like, you know what? She really appreciates fans. So, thank you. Oh, and then on the other side we have Stephanie Leonidas. Um, she put, lovely to meet you. Lots of love. Uh, she was the main lead in a show called Defiance, which got cancelled in its third season. I didn't actually watch past season one, but you know what? I really enjoyed it, so I don't know why I never went back to it. Uh, next, we have the one and only Progress Wrestling 8x10, and that's of Samoa Joe. <laughs> uh, yeah, odd that Progress Wrestling make this one 8x10, but I got it signed and happy days. And on the back, we have the late great Rowdy Roddy Piper um, and yeah that's it's quite sad that actually great man uh, next we have uh, an 8x10 really close to my heart actually uh, this 8x10 was of a picture of this certain person from my first progress show and that is Mr. Prince Devitt in the Joker attire um, and yeah, no. Obviously, I went to my first show, which was Chapter 13. Um, and it was him versus Zack Sabre Jr. And what a match. Um, and I saw this at Ref Pro like a month later. And I'm like, I've got to get it. So I did. And yeah. And on the back here, we have this picture of Paige and AJ Lee. Both signed. Great picture. Absolutely great picture. Okay, next we have Nakia Baris, who played Tanya, was it? Yeah, Tanya from Zio. Uh, then we had, whose name escapes me, Lost Galaxy Yellow, Maya. Uh, then we have Erin Cahill, uh, Time Force Pink. And then we have... Jason Font, Time Force Red. Next, we have a few Ring of Honor guys. So we got the main man, Dalton Castle. I want to be one of his boys. <laughs> uh, eat your heart out. Uh, one of my one of my favorite guys here, uh, a man called Booth. Sorry, Booth, Moose, Moose. Says Moose. Uh, Got my homeboy, Mr. Marty Skull. Um, oh my. Now, this is one of my favourite 8x10s. Um, it's this one. It's of Jimmy Havoc. Um, is, can, can you notice something special about this 8x10? Is, is there something, like, anyone here that looks familiar at all? Um, anyone, who's that? Is that me? Am I in this 8x10? That's amazing. And uh, he hopes I suffer. Um, again, amazing. I'm in an 8x10. Look at that. Great. 
Next, we have a Will Ospreay as the Progress Champion. And then we have Will Ospreay, his official Ring of Honor 8x10, because, you know, you can't get enough of Will Ospreay. Um, yeah. Uh, next, we have Mr. Neil Kaplan, who played the voice of Hawkmon and one of my highlights of LFC 2016. Um, what do you say? Uh, Robbie, thank you for your kind of study, London Rocks. Your buddy, Neil Kaplan. That's awesome. Oh, and on the back we have uh, Willa Holland. Okay. Next we have Amelia DeRaven uh, with her 10 year out of date 8x10, which is an 8x10, which is like bent at the top. And then we have Mr. Robert Carlyle. Uh, then we have uh, Miss Rebecca Maiden there. And uh, then we have Jared Gilmore, who played uh, Henry from Once Upon a Time. Massive Once Upon a Time, man. Next, we have this guy who played Aladdin, whose name escapes me. And then we have this guy that played Jafar, whose also name escapes me. It was in the package. I mean, sorry, I mean, come on. Uh, next, we have a Mr. Blake Foster, uh, who was a uh, Turbo Blue, Justin. And then we have Catherine Sutherland, who played Cat in Power Rangers. And she uh, she was my more pink, but I like to see her more as Zero Pink, preferably. So, yeah. Next, we have Milo Ventimiglia from Heroes. Followed by Black on Black, Bob Buckland. Like a twat. Next we have... Oh, we got Mr. Walter Jones here. Well, there. On this uh, lovely 8x10. And then we have Mr. Set. So we were the last black leader of the Power Rangers. Here. Shifted the turbo. Next, we have a be uh, Ben Browder, who obviously played John Crichton in Farscape. And then we have John Reese Davis, who played Gimli. Lovely stuff. Next, we have Brianna Hildeberg. I, I, I think I remember it. that's her name. Who played a uh, super warhead tonic teenage girl from here yeah big scratch uh, then we have a Bryce Pappenbrook and the other girl whose name escapes me who played Mikasa on there from Attack on Titan lovely next we have Elder Hansen who played Foggy in Daredevil and then we have Nick Frost uh, for being Nick Frost. Next, we have Caitlin with her crappy bootleg 8x10. And then we have the Motor City Machine Guns, who are the current Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, might I add. Uh, yeah, Alex Shelley and Chris Saban. Uh, okay, so here we have Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. And here we have Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. Cool. Next we have one of my favourite guys, uh, Mr. Kevin Steen. Wonder whatever happened to this guy. Don't even know. He looks happy, doesn't he, in his job. And then we have Mr. Jay Lethal. Uh, I actually got this from my first ever Rev Pro show. Next, we got a champion 8x10, and that is Adam Cole, baby! Oh, trap. Uh, yeah, lovely stuff. And then on the back, we have Chris Jericho. Great. 
then here we have Wade Barrett and Ryback. Because why not? Um, what do we have here? We have Wade Barrett again. And then we have Zack Sabre Jr. Zacky Free Belts. Look at that. Uh, next we have now you saw my Shinsuke Nakamura autograph earlier when he was with New Japan it was, it was quite a nice autograph wasn't it look at his WWE autograph it's a uh, eh you know I got him the right king of strong style yow so happy days and on the back we got Bubba Roo uh, then on here we have Asuka and then, oh, great 8 by 10 We have the championship ring of honor, Cody Rhodes, or Cody, 8 by 10 in gold. Ooh, pretty nice. Next up, we have Carmella. Fabulous. Yes, indeed. And on the back, we have Charlotte Flair, who does it with Flair. Yeah. Yeah. Right, those are my 8x10s. Um, I've got a lot more to show, so bear with me, I'll be back. Hi everyone, so um, between the last clip and this clip, it's been two weeks. Um, I've just been so busy with other things, um, I haven't got around to like actually finishing this video off. So we're going to go straight back into it. So next I've got another pile of stuff I'm going to show you, what autographs I have. First we're going to start off with the... Uh, Progress Wrestling Super Strong Style 16 2017 uh, collab book between Rob Brazier and Portrait Wrestler. Um, now, this is a really great photo book, and I'm trying to get everyone that competed at Progress that weekend to sign it. Um, so far, who have I got so far? Just to flick you through, flick you through. Oh, we've got Mr. Havoc. Oh, the only picture of Jimmy Havoc in there, which is really odd. Um, Oh, Jack Sexsmith, twice, and he drew a cock, or a middle finger, either or. Got Mr. Mark Andrews right there, on a skateboard. Zack Sabre Jr. Flash Morgan Webster. We have uh, the Atlas champion, uh, Matt Riddle. And we have uh, Liverpool's number one, Zach Gibson. Who else we got? Ah, we've got both London Riots there. We've got uh, Trent Seven. And uh, Progress Champ Pete Dunn. Mark Haskins. Skins. Both members of CCK, Kid Lycos and Chris Brooks. Got Mr. Tyler Beat. And we have the uh, winner of Super Style 16 tournament, Travis Banks, who actually signed it Super Strong Style 16 winner, if you can see that. Great picture. And in the back, we have it signed by uh, Jim Smallman and John. Looking at Glenn on there somewhere, whenever I see him. Uh, next, we have two of my favourite items. Uh, we have two uh, prints that were exclusive to Japan uh, in the magazine. I got them signed by their respective voice actors in the first con of this year, which is quite a long way away now. Uh, so we got this lovely Yugi print signed by Dan Green, who voiced Yugi. 
and the Pharaoh. And on the other side, we have this lovely print signed by Eric Stewart, who voiced Seo Kaiba. I actually love them. Really do. Uh, next, we got... I knew I said I wasn't going to do comic books, because just so many, but I, I'm going to show you my CGCs. Um, and we have this one. Uh, Secret Origins issue 4, I believe. Yeah, issue 4. Uh, signed by Lee Bermejo. Lee Bermejo. Lee Bermejo. Uh, who did the cover art. And I just love that cover art. Got a 9.8. 9.8 on that. Fantastic stuff. And then next we had Angela as God's Assassin, issue 1. Signed by Kieran Gillen and Stephanie Hans. Uh, also a 9.4. Man, I remember getting these done. This was such a fun time. Me and Mark getting these done was just brilliant. Great stuff. Next, we're going to another book. We're going to go on to the WWE Encyclopedia, Volume 1. Now, as everyone knows, when you're a big WWE fan and you haven't got a lot of things to get signed, you get the Bible signed by all the guys because it's just chocked full of gear. Um, right. Um, so, uh, we've can, we got Brad Maddox here. Raw GM, badass, generally nice guy. Uh, 2016 Battle Royal winner. Uh, Dean Ambrose. Um, I think that's... Jinder Mahal there, uh, Tyler Breeze, um, I've got no idea, Sawyer, Heath Slater, I, got, I have no idea who these people are, uh, Zeb Coulter, Ricardo Rodriguez, Sin Cara, Fandango, Summer Rae, Man, some of these are just like, you've got no idea. Uh, Drew, Drew McIntyre's in here somewhere. I think that's Drew McIntyre. I think that's Big E. I think. No clue. Um, bookmarks by Yugo Cards, because why not? We got Booker Chi there. Mr. Booker Chi. Uh, then we're going to go... Gold Dust. And we got oh, Mr. Harley Race. Yeah, Harley Race. Quite a good name, that. And we got oh, Howard Finkel, W. Hall of Fame 2009. Look at that, right there. Lovely stuff. Here we have Jerry Lawler. Here we have Jim Ross, who signed it sideways because he's a bell end. Next we have uh, Kofi Kingston, which was my first ever autograph. This here is my first ever autograph I ever got back in, I think, 08, 09. Did a Harrod signing. First ever sign I went to. And then here we've got The Miz. And he was signing with Kofi Kingston. So the Miz and Kofi Kingston were the first two guys that I ever met. Um, and the Miz was W champion at the time. But no one cared. Here we have the late, great Paul Bearer. Um, yeah. Next we have R-Truth. What's up? Uh... Next, we have uh, Vicky Guerrero, the Dirty Tan. Next, we have uh, William Regal. And uh, he closed the bookshop before it dried, and it went on this page, which is really annoying. I believe that's it.
Yep, that's it for that one. Uh, there we go. Next we have the WWE Encyclopedia Volume 2. What have we got in here then? Oh, we got Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks. If you can see that, Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks. And we have Alundra Blaze. She was a nice woman. Next we have Cody Rhodes. Yep, Cody Rhodes. Nice guy. Next we have Dangerous Danny Javis. Cause why not? Uh, then we have Mean Gene Erkeland. Huh. And we got Haku. And we got Hillbilly Jim. And then we got uh, Michelle McCool. Michelle. A good one here. Sergeant Slaughter. You see, it just looks like Sergeant. Yeah. Next, we've got Jimmy and Jay, the Uso brothers. And then we've got Affa and Sheikah, the Wild Samoans. And yeah, I believe that's it. That's it for that book. Uh, what's next? Hold on. Hi, some more items. Uh, this is my uh, Rose MacGyver signed uh, pop of Liv Moore uh, from iZombie in a pop protector. She loved my pen. I gave her my pen. Um, Next we have um, ECW One Night Stand 2006 5 poster uh, signed by uh, Devon Dudley, Bubba Ray Dudley, I don't know, I don't know which one's that, uh, Rob Van Dam, Sabu, Sandman, Tommy Dreamer, uh, Mick Foley and Paul Heyman. Yeah, quite some names on there in there. And we got a Wade Barrett signed Nexus Armband. I love this. Great stuff. Need to get more stuff. And again, we're back. Uh, got the Mattel Builder figure Michael Cole signed by Michael Cole. Uh, I don't believe I'm the only one in the UK to have this signed. Mine. <laughs> All mine. Uh, next, we got the defining moments Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. We've got the defining moments, Brett the Hitman Heart, if you can see that. And we've got my first ever signed action figure, which I got done at my first WrestleMania Access um, at WrestleMania 28. That is the Classic Superstars DX2 pack. And then I've also got the Outsiders two pack done. Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. And I've also got the Rockers two pack done by Marty Jannetty and uh, Shawn Michaels. We're back. Okay, so now it's going to be easier when, if I just take the camera with me around the wall. So we got Wade Barrett, Sheamus. The Miz, Mr. Money in the Bank, Jack Swagger, got Santino, NXT and Divas Champion Page, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, DDP, Jake the Snake Roberts, Mr. Money in the Bank, Kane, Kelly Kelly, Edge, 
Rikishi. Mr. May of the Bank, The Miz. CM Punk, Chris Jericho. Kevin Nash, The Undertaker. Mankind, King Booker. Layla. Uh, right, bear with me. <laughs> Right, we'll go down here. We got Cameron Jibo's Gokai Silver there, and then we got Trina Nishimura, uh, her Attack on Titan figure, Dan Green's Yugi figure, and uh, Bryce Pappenbrook's Creo. Lovely stuff. Then we're gonna go over here. We got the late great Roddy Roddy Piper, Chris Jericho, the Million Dollar Man. That's not signed. <laughs> That's not signed. Uh, we've got the Honky Tonk Man there. Who we got behind? We've got the Ultimate Warrior. <clears throat> Rey Mysterio. No one. That's annoying. We've got the one, two, three kid. Big Show has signed it, but you just can't see it. Fandango. Bruno San Martino and Broder's Clay. Uh, put that back up there. No, stay. Stack. There we go. Over here we have the usual plaques. We all got plaques, 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 plaques. Covered by Amiibos. Here we have uh, Edge uh, cover signed by the voice of Super Mario, Charles Martinez. One of my prized possessions, that. Uh, more plaques down here. Um, here we have a West Ham United t-shirt from I think the 2014 season. Signed by David Gold, David Sullivan, uh, Colton Cole, Jack Collison, Kevin, Kevin Noble. Mark Noble and Kevin Nolan, I think. And here we have an Italy 2006 World Cup winning squad signed shirt by the entire team. Which again is one of my prize possessions. Right, so yes, I'm on the next day again because I forgot some stuff. Oh, we've got some more magazines. Um, so first off we have... Uh, put the Playboy, that, that featured Maria Canellis. Um, it, it's actually faded a lot uh, due to sun damage. Uh, but I've got it signed to me. The lovely Maria Playboy. Yeah. Next, we got this French, this Canadian French magazine called Summum. No idea. I actually got this imported from France, uh, from Canada, to get signed by Maurice. Next, we have uh, Ashley Mazzaro's Playboy cover. Uh, then we got Lita, signed WWE magazine cover. And we got uh, Maxim magazine, Kelly Kelly. And we got Trish Stratus. Yeah. Uh, next, we have the Star Trek 50th anniversary uh, vinyl record signed by Walter Koenig, George Takai, and William Shatner. I was supposed to get Nichelle Nichols on here, but because of her of the absolute fuck uppery of MCM this year, I couldn't meet her. Um, so hopefully, she does no con before she passes away, and I'll be able to get her on this. Right, I believe that is everything. I believe that is all my autographs. So thank you for joining me in this experience of getting all my autographs. And now it's just absolute nightmare and trying to find places and putting them back away. And yeah, so bye.